Okay, we're going to go over factor pair mountain, which is just a way of organizing factors that we find for any number. So I'm just going to draw a basic mountain shape, and we'll say this is 24 that we're looking for. And we always start climbing a mountain at the bottom. So we're going to start with 1. And yes, we know 1 goes into all numbers. Now, you're free to match this over to the other side with whatever it goes with, but you don't have to do that right now. Um, you might not know. In this case, we already know. One goes with 24, so we can just put that in. So then we think, okay, does 2 go in? Well, we know 2 goes in because 24 is even, so we can say 2 goes in. And we might not know exactly what half 24 is right off the bat, so we'll just keep going. Does 3 go in? And here, we might know that 3 times 8 is 24, or we might know a little divisibility rule that if we add the sum of the digits, 2 plus 4, and we get 6, if the sum is divisible by 3, then the number itself is divisible by 3. That's a nice one. So we know 3 goes in. Okay, does 4 go in? Okay, well, if we cut a number in half, and in half again, we can see if 4 goes in. So half of 24 is 12. Oh, well, that goes here. And half of 12 is 6. So yes, indeed, it does go in. And that one tells us its partner. Does 5 go in? No, because all multiples of 5 and then 0 are 5. And so we've already rounded out the top. So in this case, if we were looking for what went with 3, now we could search intentionally. We could say, okay, 24 divided by 3 is, and we might even do something kind of fancy like this. 4 times 6 equals 24, so 3 times what equals 24? And we might recognize that if we cut 6 in half, we need to double the 4. So we know 8 goes here. So, so Fact Mountain just helps us be systematic and organize our way to finding the factors for a particular number. So we might write these out as 24 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24 as factors. And you can do this for any number.